Hi, today I'll be showing you the approved methods and techniques for taking impressions for Henry Schein orthodontics aligners. There are two techniques that you can use when taking impressions. You can use the one-step or the two-step technique. The approved materials are either a heavy body and light body PVS material or a putty and light body material when taking the PVS impressions. In order to take a traditional PVS impression using heavy body and light body, these are the materials that you'll need. One cartridge of heavy body PVS material, one cartridge of light body PVS material, tray adhesive, upper and lower disposable impression tray, plus the applicator tips and the curved applicator tip and two cartridge guns. You'll want to try in your disposable full arch upper and lower tray to verify the correct size impression tray that you'll use. You'll then paint the impression trays with a tray adhesive. Before loading the impression tray with the PVS material, go ahead and load both light body and heavy body cartridges into their guns. Bleed both cartridges before placing the mixing tip applicators onto the cartridges. Apply a little bit of heavy body that has been mixed to the back of your glove, then load PVS material into the tray, starting at the very bottom of the tray, filling the tray three fourths of the way to the top of the phalanges. We then can move on to loading the remaining portion of the tray with the PVS light body material. When seating the impression, you want to seat the back of the tray, seat those molars first, and work your way to the anterior region of the mouth. Before you fully seat the anterior region, it's important to move the lip out of the way and then move on with fully seating the tray in the anterior region as well. You'll want to use the two finger technique in the mouth applying medium pressure through the duration of the setup time. Before removing the impression tray, verify that both light body and heavy body material or putty material and light body material has fully set up before removing the impression. If that material is set up, then the material that's in the patient's mouth will be set up as well and the impression then can be removed. If the impression was taken accurately, the impression may be difficult to remove. A great technique is to take your pointer finger and apply pressure to the side of the impression vestibule of the patient's mouth and applying pressure in a downwards motion helps break the seal and allows the impression to be removed easier from the mouth. Putty is an alternative to PVS heavy body material when taking these impressions. You'll take equal parts of putty material. You'll begin to mix the two pieces together and the goal is to work fast but thorough. As the material starts to mix, you can see a marbling color. We want to mix until the color is a, is a unison color. Once the putty has been mixed, you can roll the putty and then load that putty into your tray. Push down a little bit to make a well to add your light body material, PVS material on top, uh, and then you will be able to seat this in the patient's mouth for your impression. Always bleed a little bit of light body material on the back of your glove, and then you will apply the light body PVS material 
on top of the putty. Once you've fully loaded your tray, you'll want to quickly attach the curved applicator tip and apply some light body material to the very distals of the terminal molars and also apply a light wash across the gingival margins of the buckle aspect before taking your loaded impression and seating that into the patient's mouth. The two-step approach utilizes either heavy body PVS material or a putty. Fully loading the tray with that material and taking the impression, you do want to use more putty than you would uh, if you were do using putty for one-step impression. So you will want to load the putty material all the way up to the uh, phalanges. So once we've taken our first impression with the heavy body or putty material, we will make sure the tray is dry and then we will inject with the light body material. We want to try to get the tip uh, down into the teeth areas to help prevent any bubbles. And we'll inject light body material up to the top of the impression that we captured. Again, we do not need to worry about capturing the palatal area. And then we'll place the impression back into the patient's mouth. the lips out of the way and fully seat our impression. So when taking a bite registration, uh, we want to capture the occlusal and incisal uh, surfaces of all of the teeth. So when applying bite registration material, we want to always apply it to the mandibular arch. And I recommend asking your patient to open and close and verify their normal and natural bite before taking the impression. Practice with your patient and show them how you expect them to bite down when you put the material in the mouth. To ship your PVS impressions to our Henry Schein Orthodontics Lab, you will need a box, the UPS shipping label and packing slip that can be found and printed off in your patient's DDX account. You'll need to disinfect the upper and lower impression and your bite registration. And the impressions and bite registration needs to be packaged in a way that will ensure the integrity of the impressions during the shipping process. Keeping these tips and tricks in mind will help ensure that your impressions are accepted by our lab and will provide the quickest and most efficient turnaround for your aligners.